Hello, welcome to Quartz Light, your car brochure channel, and today's Saturday special. <laughs> Welcome back to Quartzlight, and Quartzlight, if you don't know, we look at car brochures from around the world three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, and what you're currently watching is the Saturday special. The Saturday special is a roundup of the week and also a look ahead to the next week, so a shorter episode, and we usually fit in a very small brochure in there as well. So, uh, if you're interested in that sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So let's have a look what we looked at this week. And here are the brochures we looked at Monday. We looked at the Triumph 2.5 Pi. Then Wednesday, we looked at the Rover 800 series. And lastly, the Ford Cortina. So a brochure from the 60s, a brochure from the 80s, and a brochure from the 70s, trying to give you a wide range of different cars to look at. Um, so what do you think is the common theme with all these brochures well every one of these brochures is actually uh, a viewers requested brochure review so yeah what a lot of people have been doing a lot of viewers have been doing they've been writing down in the comments the brochures they'd like to see whether it's a brochure they had as a as a child a family car or one they've actually owned um, I'm not sure but um, I've tried to um, at least do a bit of a list of anyone who ever requests a brochure video and at some point in the future try and actually do that. It usually takes a while because I've usually got a lot of brochures in the pipeline to do first but you know thank you for requesting them and I'm grateful you requested them so I, in return I try and do a video for you. So I hope those people who have requested a video did enjoy what they got to see. So today's Saturday special um, brochure review or car review actually comes from this May 1983 edition of um, this Ford brochure and what we're actually going to be looking at is the limited edition or one of the limited edition um, Ford Fiesta Mark 1's the Finesse, I don't know if anyone remembers the Finesse um, but we're going to have a look at some of these shots and a little bit of a look at the write-up um, for this special edition or limited edition Fiesta Finesse, a polished little car around town. Okay, so this Finesse, it says outside it's distinguished by distinctive body striping, attractive wheels with black centre caps and a colour choice which includes three special new finishes ocean blue, pastel grey and metallic nimbus grey. As standard there's also a glass sunroof which it shows here, a very cheap glass sunroof I must admit, which can be tilted or fully removed. I don't remember seeing anyone ever remove these, I think that was just too much hassle. For sunny days and a heated rear window with wash wipe for the wet ones. Inside the new Fiesta has even more finesse among the standard equipment, there's a push button two band radio stereo cassette player, luxury Fiesta L style thickly padded reclining bucket seats with special true raw trim and height adjustable A frame head restraints, large door bins that add to the odds and ends space gear type door trims and armrests, an anti-dazzle rear view mirror, two speed wipers and an intermittent mode for electric screen wash, a cigar lighter, colour keyed carpet, um, a, a carpeted removable rear package tray and the luggage area is fully carpeted. Enthusiastic drivers will like the four spoke steering wheel, which allied to the Fiesta's traditional sharp rack and pinion steering and the Finesse's 15570SR13 low profile tyres, gives excellent driver feedback when you're on twisty, demanding roads. Additional standard equipment items include 
a quartz clock, rear coat hooks so your best suit won't get crushed on a long trip, front grab handles and gear style interior sidewalls with the addition of Truro fabric inserts. You'll also appreciate the door mirrors. Uh, on both sides of the car, the driver's exterior mirror is remotely controlled from the inside. Halogen headlamps for better visibility at night and a tailgate twist lock for the hatchback's third door. There's a reversing lamp too. The power, sorry, to power this new Fiesta, there's a choice of four transverse mounted four cylinder engines ranging from the Zippy 40 or 45 BHP 950cc units to the super frugal 1.1 economy engine which can give you more than 55 miles out of every gallon of petrol to the advanced 66 brake horsepower 1.3 litre with uh, niceties like electronic ignition so you know usually with these um, sort of uh, limited editions there's not usually that much choice but there we go three engine choices on this particular model and just to make you uh, your special edition Fiesta Finesse even more individualistic, you can order a special option pack which includes driving lamps, front and rear overriders and wheel trim rings. And you can see this particular um, uh, Fiesta Finesse has got them added extras at additional costs, you know, these uh, spotlights, the overriders and the rings on the wheels um, so again unusual for a special edition to have like options you could specify it on as well a little bit of a look at the interior I don't think anything too special even though it's going on about these seats but it's not really too special on the inside really is it there we go a little parcel shelf and you can see the rear wiper and the heated uh, rear window and there's and also an idea of how it was badged this finesse so a lot of these little uh, special editions that Ford have done and we looked at the, the Capri Cam Cameo was a, a very sort of basic special edition and um, this is quite a nice special edition overall you know it, it looks quite a sporty model if you add those those little spotlights on there doesn't it so let's have a look at how that fits in with the price range of the time. So the most basic uh, Fiesta you could get was a popular 950 for 3,388. If we look at that f finesse, it kind of like ranged from 4,162 to 4,617. Um, putting it kind of like in between sort of a GL and an L so it wasn't badly priced overall yeah you could get more uh, basic cars like I say that popular down 50 if it was really um, uh, bargain hunting but certainly um, that particular model was certainly cheaper than say a 1.1 S and you can you know you can get a 1.3 uh, finesse for less than that and still had that sort of sporty looks with those driving lamps on there is quite an interesting little a bit of information there's all the colors you could get for the fiesta finesse um, even showing at the end the uh, you know your tape stripe color and your finesse uh, decal color depending on which um, metallic or solid color you pick so a bit of inf interesting information if anyone was actually restoring one of these there we go that comes to the end of today's saturday special and that special edition ford fiesta finesse is certainly one of the special editions that i certainly remember so they must have sold quite a few so that brings us to next week uh, starting off with monday we'll be looking at the uh, citroen c15 if you remember those vans and then on wednesday the peugeot 205 so two french vehicles from the 80s to start your monday and your wednesday off on friday ford friday of course we'll be like looking at a ford from the 60s maybe i should let you think on that and maybe see if you can work out what that car that may be but for now we'll say thank you so much for watching uh, Please do like and subscribe. We'll see you very soon. Take care.
and goodbye.